All jokes aside, um, I wanted to just tell you guys a bit about who I am and how I got here. So um, this slide, I'm not going to bore you by reading my whole pedigree, but the point is that I had a lot of preparation. I had lots of really good mentorship at every single stage. But even though it's laid out really nicely here on this slide, the road wasn't exactly as straightforward as it looks. So it looked a little bit more like this here. So I started, kind of milled around, but the whole purpose today is to tell you guys about how we can make sure that I'm not the only one and people like me who don't necessarily fit the stereotypical image of a computer scientist, that we're not the only ones, that we can make this an inclusive environment for so many people. So, it all started back in the late 80s. I was but a child, and <laughs> this is me here. And if you look at these arrows, these were my first computers. And they're not even actually computers. I loved anything with the screen. So one of them's like a speak and spell, and the other one's a typewriter. I just knew it had keys and it looked like a computer. And then I also like to read, so that's me in the side there. I'm actually in time out at that, per at that point, but I brought a book because, again, did not know I was a nerd back then. But I was very, very inquisitive. So here, this was my first classroom. So I'm a professor now. I talk to imaginary people, anyone who would sit still and listen. It looks like the, the doll there is grabbing for her life. Like, please, leave me alone. Please stop talking. But I was very inquisitive, love to read. And here was my first engineering project. So my dad worked for a company that had a lot of pens that they'd give out to their customers. And these pens, you could, be, you could take them apart, put them back together. So I thought in all of my six-year-old mind that I would just be so awesome if I could take these pens apart and put them back together and nobody knew. 